Hey guys, Trudy here with Classic Touch Pressure Washing and Panhandle Power Wash Supply. Anyway, I'm out in the field today. I'm by myself. I'm going to show you a little video about um, <clears throat> my fire hydrant setup so I can fill my 525 tank quickly. So let me turn you around here. All right, so this is what I'm hauling today. Driving this F350 flatbed and pulling my 16 foot trailer. Might be a little tricky because I have to um, use two hands in some of this. So, <clears throat> this is how I've got my hydrant set up. I've got a bulkhead at the bottom of my tank right here with the PVC pipe going all the way to the end. This is also my empty. Um, I can drain my tank with this also. It's got a ball valve there. <clears throat> we call the city water supply and we get them to put this metering system on here. So here's my hose. And we added the quick connects onto these just to make it easier. I'm trying to do this one handed guys, so I apologize on the video. I'm out here by myself today. Make sure the hose is straight. Don't want no kinks will blow a hole in hole in it. And I'll show you how to get this set up. All right. All right. So here we have the plug quick connect on here. Here's the coupler. I'm gonna set this right oops, so you can see. Maybe right here. I don't know if you can see or not, but I've got to do two hands for this one. Oops, can't see when it falls down. All right. Okay. So I got that hooked up. All right. Make sure there's no kink. right there so I can color this one. All right, you also are gonna need one of these tools. <coughs> Excuse me. One of these guys. Now I'm gonna try and do this one-handed, but I will see. I will go back and show you that again, so. Oh, maybe wrong way. Yeah, right. There we go. We're unhooking this. A little tight. Boy, I tell you, this is sucks first thing in the morning. There we go. I got it. All right, so that's open. We're going to go back to the trailer, and I'll show you how we got it hooked up. Again, somebody missed that. But I got this PVC pipe, a ball valve, so I can shut it on and off. Hooked up to a bulkhead at the bottom of my 525. So we've got it hooked up. Open this one first. If you don't open this one, you're gonna blow your PVC pipe out. Trust me, I've done it. Always start slowly in case you have things like that happen. All right, we're full force now. <clears throat> you can hear it. I'm gonna leave it here for a second so you can see how quickly this fills. It takes, this hydrant takes this tank probably 10, if not, not even 10 minutes to fill. You can see how quickly that's going up. So instead of sitting here for, with spigots on these big jobs, um, we uh, use the fire hydrant. I'm going to take you over to show you the map of what sidewalks and street gutters I'm cleaning. Except for somebody stuck their hat sticker on here, but this whole subdivision is what we're doing. I've done this in the black. This is what I've done this last week. But that's the entire subdivision I'll be washing get back to the tank so I don't overfill. 
So when you fill, you open the ball valve on the trailer first and then open this one. When you turn it off, you close this one first and then the one on your trailer. But if you can see, we're almost full. <clears throat> so not even five minutes. We're using a, oh, the float valve. Yeah, I don't know what that is. I'm just, they put all that in there, but we use a Hudson float valve on the truck, on the uh, tank. All right, so, ooh. All right, you shut that off. <clears throat> close that we unhook try to do it with one hand there we go and then we just leave this hose here while we're working throughout the day and and pick it up and all right Shane I mean Michael Shane's not here if he was here I wouldn't be working alone today anyway I just want to give you a little tutorial on uh, filling up with a fire hydrant so that is it and uh i'm gonna go get my butt to work in this freezing florida weather actually it's warmed up a little bit but it's going to be 39 tonight i'm not built for that all right guys you guys stay humble and hustle hard and uh i'll send out videos a little bit later have a great day